Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to make this for work. Let's go to addbook.html. And the first thing to do here is to add a function which is going to run whenever we submit the form. To add that function to this form, we use ng submit directive and then we add the name of the function. That right now we don't have the function, but we're going to add one here. So add book and let's call it. Of course, we need to ensure that inside of this form we have a input with the type of submit or this is not going to work. So we have that here. So now we can take this function and add it here inside of that controller. So scope dot addbook is equal to function. And let's just alert something so we can test if this works. So now let's go to the page. Let's reload it. Click on save. And yeah, it works. We get that alert. So I'm going to change this save to add. So now the next thing to do here is to add required on each input that is well required, right? So we can see here the star. So that means that this input here is required and we add here required. So the first three inputs are required. And we can see that image and description is not required. So we are not going to add this required. And if you remember what this does is actually it enables the HTML5 validation. So now if we reload the page and again, if we submit that page, we can see that this message here. So HTML5 validation kicks in and we got that message. Of course, we don't want to use uh, HTML5 validation to so to remove it, we add here, no validate. Now we have everything set up. The next step I want to do here is actually add uh, ng model to each of these inputs so we can take this data and just store it in one object, right? So let's start with this first input here. I'm just going to sort this out a little bit. And here I'm going to add ng model is equal to and now this is not going to be equal just title, right? Because in this input, we are going to add the title. Actually, it's going to be equal to book dot title. And this is now going to create a book object on our scope. And to that book object is going to add property title. And the value from the input is going to be value to this property. All right. So now let's go to this next input here. And again, let's sort this out a little bit. So here I want to again that ng model. And this time is going to be equal to book dot and author, right? This is an author. And let's go to the next one again for the price. We need to do the same thing. ng model is equal to book dot price. So now we go to the image. Again, let's sort it out. ng model is equal to book dot image. And the last one is description. So we can add it here. I'm just going to add here ng model is equal to book dot description. All right, cool. Now we can go to uh, our controller and here now I want to console log this book object, right? So now if we go to the page, let's reload it. And here I'm going to add some data, just anything, right? Doesn't matter. Price. All right. And now if we click add, book is not defined. Let me Oh, yeah, sorry. So this book object is on the scope. So you need to add scope.book. And if you again reload the page, add anything here, click add. You can see that we got that object and we got those properties here also. So that's done. Now, the next thing I want to do here and the last thing is validation. 
so let's see how we can validate this form and we did all of this already i hope you rem you are remembering some of the things that we did before you can see everything is is the same now now that we have uh, created this object we got the properties when we submit uh, the the way that we do validation is by using name property right so the first thing is to add name property to the form and i'm going to call it add book but i'm going to add form just to avoid using the same name everywhere and now if we take this name and if we go to add book controller now we can use that object is going to be again on the scope and add here dollar sign valid uh, method which we can apply on that form and now if you again reload the page now you have to have something inside of this or it's not going to be valid actually inside of this first three they are required so let me remove to show you now add you can see false add false and now it's true because these three first inputs are required and this is just optional all right so now i'm going to add here if this is valid if the form is valid uh console log scope dot book object i want to see the data and of course this validation is really cool but it's extremely simplistic the only thing that it requires is that you enter something here and of course we don't want to allow this we don't want to allow our users to submit the form with one character right so we are going to expand this validation now so let's again go to addbook.html and here i want to set up some rules so first i'm going to say ng I min length is going to be equal to let's say three and again ng max length is going to be equal to i don't know 72 let's say all right now inside of this container which says form error message we're going to add some messages so let's say span and here i'm going to say uh title to short and this message i'm going to show when the remember we are using this time the names right so the name of the form dot this is an object dot the name of the input title dot dollar sign error dot min length so when there is an error with min length if this is not true if you don't have at least three characters this is going to show this message now the next one is going to be title too long and here i'm just going to add max length and now let's save this if the title is too short you can see this message here too short and now when i put three characters here it's gone cool and of course we could also expand this form validation by uh, adding a class which is going to add the border red or green but i'm going to leave that decision on you uh, if you like you can do that i'm sure you already know how to do that uh, so yeah for this video i'm going to end here and i'm going to leave you to finish the validation for these two inputs so yeah this is it I'm sure you're going to do this easily we did this once already and just to remind you if you wish to use uh, regex you can use ng pattern and then you can use regex here all right so this is it for this video see you in the next one